Obesity is generally thought as, as uh, the result of eating too much and exercising too little, when in reality, it's much different than that. It's a condition or a disease in which your body thinks that you're supposed to have more body fat than what it's good for you. Um, that is a reason why diet and exercise are really not that helpful long term to try to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. Every time you try to lose weight, your body will do things to regulate back to what your starting weight was. So it'll change your hormones to try to make you a little bit more hungry and will actually burn less calories. So unlike common thought in that obesity, it's thought to be just a result of poor eating habits. It really is a disease um, that, that needs treatment and not judgment. Bariatric surgery or weight loss surgery is um, surgery that we do on patients um, to try to help them lose weight uh, and get rid of um, the medical problems that are associated with obesity. The two most common surgeries that are done are gas, uh, the sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass. It's also the most effective uh, surgeries and the ones that we understand the best. So an ideal candidate for surgery is somebody who's been obese or morbidly obese for more than five years or so. Generally, the patients that we see have already tried to lose weight with diet and exercise and have found that the weight loss that they have achieved is not sustainable. Generally, these are patients that have a body mass index more than 35 or 40 with associated medical problems such as diabetes, sleep apnea, high, high blood pressure, hypercholesterolemia, and such. The recovery of the surgery is actually quite surprising. Patients are in the hospital generally for only 48 hours. Um, they go home and, and, and for the most part, they're back to their daily activities or their uh, office job, if you might want to call that, within a week or two after surgery. Uh, we see them two weeks after surgery to make sure everything's okay and they're in good health. So in general, where diet and exercise and, and, and medications that decrease your appetite will provide as, at best a 5 to 10% excess weight loss, surgery will provide generally on average anywhere between 60 to 80% excess weight loss, meaning of the weight that you have in excess, of the weight that you don't need, on average after surgery, patients lose anywhere between 60 to 75 or 80 percent within a year and a half after surgery. I would have to talk about a patient that I operated about a year or two ago and she comes to me because she has not been able to lose weight via diet and exercise even though she has tried very very hard. We did a gastric bypass on her. Uh, within a year and a half after surgery, she had lost 100% of all the weight that she had in excess. And, and uh, what struck me was that when she came in to her uh, office appointment, she, she thanked me for the fact that now she could play Lego with her kids. And just that fact changed her life. More than the diabetes that went away, the high blood pressure that went away, all the medications that she doesn't have to take any more, and obviously the fact that she has lost a significant amount of weight. Her life has changed because of surgery.